Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. It is time for the Double Game Week 24 preview. But like always, we're going to go back to the previous game week that was Game Week 23 and see how well my team did for that week. Now, don't forget that the deadline is this Tuesday and I won't be able to create a video on that day. However, there is a slight chance that I might create a video uh, on a Monday afternoon. So we'll see. So I'm going to try and, and talk about a lot of things in this video. Um, but to be honest with you, I already spoke about the double game week um, plan and strategies on my previous video. So please check that out as well. That will definitely, definitely help you out. And yeah, let's just go through game week 23. This video is sponsored by OneFootball, an app that is free to download on iOS and Android devices. This app will definitely help you out with FPL and the Champions League Fantasy Football. You'll be able to follow your favorite teams, find out the latest news, live scores, highlights, transfers, stats, and many, many more. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description below. Thank you. So my final points is actually 13 instead of 29. The average is around 44 instead of 22. And I have dropped outside of the top 100k again. And I'm around 160k. So really bad game week for me. And these things can happen. Um, in the previous game weeks, like I was doing really well. And this game week completely put me back down again. But you know what? We're just going to move on. I just cannot wait for the double game week. I'm, I'm just hoping that things will be better. And we'll get a little bit more excitement. Um... But yeah, if you're feeling a bit like down, do not worry. Like there's there's still a lot of game weeks left, and just put your head up and let's move on, and let's see if we can get a better result next week. Um, so Ryan in goal with two, Trent Alexander Arnold, the only player actually returning for me, clean sheet and assist, nine points. It's actually going to get one more bonus point, total of ten now. Um, Sionja with one. Lesser City, two defeats in a row. Burnley beating them 2-1. Um, Lundstrom with only two points. Uh, Arsenal won. Sheffield United won. Next up is Mahrez with only one point. Um, to be honest with you, uh, he already bought me the points that I wanted. I kind of felt that he was going to be benched anyway in one of these games. And this is the risk that we get when we own in a Manchester City player. Mane with only three. Kevin De Bruyne with only four. Uh, Cantwell, I played Cantwell instead of um, Madison. Cantwell with only three. Uh, I thought that he was going to get me some returns, but he did not. Ings with two. Tammy Abraham with two. And Jamie Vardy with zero. Now, I didn't watch this game, but I looked back. I was thinking, what the? What? Why? Why is it zero? And yes, he has actually missed a penalty. So yeah, really bad game week for a lot of people there. A lot of players that we have. Madison with two, Rico with two, and Kelly with one. Yeah, really bad game week, below the average, but we've got to move on. We can't just sit here and, you know, think about this. We've got to think about the positives. And next up is the double game week 24. So for game week 24, my team is actually looking really good. There's a few adjustments that I can make to make it even better. Now, for those who don't know, um, in game week 24, Liverpool will have an extra fixture to play in that game week. As you can see, Liverpool versus Wolves and Liverpool versus West Ham. So in these fixtures, you know, if a player plays twice, then you've got to get double the chance of getting some returns. So captaining one of those players that has two fixtures in one game week is fantastic. Meaning there's twice this chance like to get some returns. So a lot of people are thinking about captaining Mane, uh, Firmino, Trent, Salah. And yeah, I guess that is the best option because they have a, a higher chance to get some returns. You know, if your captain is going to play two fixtures, then it's going to give you a higher possibility of him returning some points. Now I'm going to go through my team and then I'm going to make my transfers in this video. So hope you guys will like it. So, first up, Ryan against Bournemouth. Now, I'm going to be playing Rico, so I'm just going to hope that one of these teams, like Bournemouth or Brighton, to keep a clean sheet. Sionchu, Madison, Vardy, great chance to get some returns. I think West Ham, 
you know, they're a team that will leak some goals. And, you know, this is a home game. There should be some returns here. And they should get back to where they were a couple of weeks ago. Um, I still think that Leicester City is a fantastic team. I'm not going to get rid of those players right now. Trent Alexander-Arnold, as you can see, Wolves away and West Ham away. So a great chance for him to get some returns. Next up is Mares and Kevin De Bruyne uh, away against Sheffield United. We all know how well Sheffield United plays. So it's time for Mares to go, even though I think that he's going to play. Uh, it's one of those things where you just got to get uh, Manchester City's players at the right time. Is it the right time for me to remove him? I don't know. We'll see. But I think it's the right time for me to remove him to a player that I think could get me a lot of points. Now, Mane could be my captain. I'll let you guys know and give you guys my update on my final selection on my Twitter account. Uh, Madison, like I said, great fixture with Vardy. Tammy Abraham against Arsenal. I think this is a decent fixture for Chelsea to, to score. But I just want to get rid. I, I've been holding um, Tammy Abraham for such a long time now. He hasn't been bringing me the explosive kind of points like how he was before. And for me, I just want to get rid. Next up is Ings. Uh, just be careful. There might be a slight chance that he might be benched in the next game. But we will see. I'm still going to play him. Um, if he is benched and if he doesn't play, then I do have my bench players to kind of help me out. Kelly here against uh, um, Southampton. Uh, Lundstrom here in the second bench against Manchester City. I uh, could change this, but anyways, that was my team. Ooh. Okay, let's go through the transfers because this is what you all been waiting for. So as for the transfers, now... The good thing that came out of game of 23 is I actually banked the transfer. I got two free transfers and I got 1.8 in the bank. So a lot of money, a lot of transfers to play with. So really good setup for the double game of 24. Now hear me out. I'm going to say how it is. You guys know me. That's how I am. Play however you want to play it. If you have a gut feeling, then then go for it. Do not listen to me and do not do what I'm going to do right now. Oh God. Okay. Hear me out. At the beginning of the year, I spoke about Salah, you know, bringing him in into my team and maybe even captaining Salah to kind of push me up in the ranks. And last week, I looked at Firmino's stats and I was like, oh my God, he's away stats. He's fantastic. And right now, it's just been good. <laughs> Firmino and Mane and, and Salah is just going through my mind a lot. And this is the effect of FPL. And I'm going to make my decision right now. Oh my God. Okay, hear me out. Now, the first kind of uh, transfer done what I'll be talking about is bringing Firmino and then you know with the other transfer I can remove Mares. I could even bank the transfer and play him and captain Mane for game week 24 um, now I look at uh, Firmino's ownership is 12% it's probably going to go up to about 14 but Maybe even 15. It's, it's not enough for, for my rank to drop. And if we look at Salah. I looked at his um, like history. His, his away fixtures. Like his away. His away fixtures are not that good. Most of his points. It's coming at home as you can see 10 points at home 16 points at home um, 13 points away okay that's one of them there at home at home at home at home and at home most of his big scores are coming at home 
But why do I want to bring in Salah? When there is another option here, Firmino has got a fantastic record away. It's because of his ownership. His ownership is going to go up to 30%. I'm pretty sure his price is going to go up. His price is probably going to go up again. And I, I need to make the move. And having him in, in my team is going to negate that issue. And having you know Mane and Salah, I think this is a fantastic kind of, kind of like, it's a good gamble. It's, it's a good thing to have to kind of negate that rank drop. Firmino, yes, if he if he does well, you know, if I don't have him, it's it's actually fine. I'm not going to drop. But with having no Salah, and a lot of people's going to go for Salah. That's going to hurt if he actually does well. Now to fund Salah. I will need 2.1. Now to do that, I will need to remove Tammy Abraham. And as you can see, I've got 5.8. So I can't get a player like Cavard Lewin, which is a shame. And I spoke about bringing in Jordan Ayu, that is 5 million and only 7.6% owned. And these fixtures for Crystal Palace is actually really good. They played really well against um, Manchester City and you know, a cheap player like this with great fixtures, there might be some returns. I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit out there. Not many managers are thinking about. And you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I don't care anymore. I'm going to have a little bit fun. I'm going to get that little bit of a buzz. And I'm going to bring in Cenk Tossen. 5.7 and only 0 not even, I thought that was going to be two, but 0.2% owned. Great fixtures, scored against Manchester City, could be on penalties, I'm not 100% sure actually. And he is their main striker right now. Jordan Ayew played in the midfield, he played up front, and he actually performed really well. And for that, I'm going to bring him in my team. I'm going to go for something completely different. Not many managers out there is, is doing this move. Yeah, it's a risk. And plus, uh, one of those fixtures is away against Everton, so we won't be able to play against them because it's a loan from them. It's fine. I'll have some kind of defensive cover, and I'm going to go for this. Here we go. Is that right? Confirm. And there we go. Done. Oh. Hang on. It's not finished yet. The triple captain chip has been activated. I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to keep it on money or if I'm going to move on to seller. If I find out one of those players is injured, then I might actually cancel the triple captain chip. But for now, this is the way it's going to look like. And this is my team setup. I had to make the moves. As you can see, I got 0.1, Salah's price is going up, Rico's price is going down. There might be some other uh, players in my teams going down as well. So I don't want to take the risk. I want to make the moves now. If it doesn't pay off, it doesn't pay off. We will move on. There's double game weeks. There's blank game weeks to kind of think about as well. We need a lot of luck. Let's hope this luck pays off. And there we go. Thank you so much for joining in, guys. Smash that like button. Let's see if we can get up to about 300 likes just for this triple captain chip to be activated. Thank you so much, guys. Hopefully, you get a fantastic uh, kind of score in Game Week 24. And that is about it. Thank you so much, guys. And see you guys next time. See ya.